is it okay? Can I, you wanted to make an announcement or you're going to do it later? Sorry, no, maybe I should do that at the end. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Uh, so uh, so I thank you very much for inviting me to give this, uh, give this talk in this forum. And um, so the title of the talk is just, as I said. So I'll just begin with uh, some question which came from another angle which motivated uh, the considerations of the main results of today's talk. So let me just begin by, suppose R is a complete discrete valuation ring. And K is the field of fractions of R. And suppose X over K is a smooth projector, geometrically integral, geometrically integral curve. integral curve and the f is the function field of uh, of this curve and um, uh, so sort of i'm going to describe some kind of local global principles so this is respect, with respect to discrete valuations of f valuations of f so we can just uh, restrict ourselves to so called divisorial discrete valuations which means that you are only looking at those which are centered on co-dimension one points of models of X over R, okay? We can just have a more restricted, more geometric discrete valuations. And then G is a reductive group over F, group defined over F. And uh, let me denote by Sha F, uh, Sha, um, Sha Omega F G. This is all, uh, principal homogeneous spaces under G over F, which are trivial locally at all completions of F at the discrete valuations given by Omega. So this uh, principal homogeneous spaces up to isomorphism, they are classified by H1 FG, the Galois cohomology set. And then you take this uh, restriction to various completions V in Omega, and you take the kernel of this uh, restriction map that is the Sha Omega. And there have been in the last uh, few years, extensive study, study of um, either uh, uh, questions like triviality of Sha under certain conditions or obstructions to vanishing of Sha to vanishing of Sha. These were the questions quite um, extensively studied. It all started with some kind of uh, some patching techniques, which were uh, uh, proposed by Harbater, Hartman, Krashen. Since then, there have been considerable progress in this direction. And in a recent project, which was started with Coleuthalene, and Harbeter, Hartman, Krashen. Hartman, Krashen, and Suresh and myself. It was just some kind of a joint project which started uh, some time ago. So we were looking at the question, the case where we called it constant groups. This is our notation, constant group. That is, we, are, we were starting with a G defined over the function field. Suppose G is defined over the basic discrete valuation thing, okay? G is defined over the base, it's a sort of constant group. Then we ask the question, uh, so we had the following uh, theorem that um, suppose uh, you take a model X over R, a regular proper model, model for X, for your curve X over K, and we assume that uh, some kind of geometric properties of the model. Suppose uh, I let me just say K is the residue field of R, the discrete valuation ring. K is the residue field. I'll assume that the special the uh, special fiber is reduced, and I will put the following some technical condition. It is a monotone tree. First of all, reduced and normal crossing, which we can assume by 
suitable, uh, suitably choosing the model X. Suppose it's a normal crossing model. Then we have some kind of a, a graph a tree associated to the special fiber. We assume it is a monotone tree. I don't want to go into the exact definition, but at least intuitively, if K is a characteristic zero, then when you base change XK special fiber to the algebraic closure of K, it is actually a tree, okay? This is the condition, geometric tree would be the condition characteristic of K is zero, but it's slightly uh, more in the case when general characteristic. So we put this geometric condition on the special fiber. Then we prove that if uh, G is any reductive group, reductive group defined over the base and, uh, and uh, Psi is an H1 uh, Sha Omega FG. Suppose it is a tosser under G over F, then there exists a lift of this tosser to the uh, to the scheme X to the uh, to the two-dimensional scheme X. Uh, sorry, this is to H1. It, it lifts to maybe I'll just say e, a tosser under tosser over the scheme X under G such that when you restrict the citator to the special fiber. So you have this X to R, X to spec R. We have this, uh, this regular proper model we have chosen. If you restrict it to the special fiber, this is true. Okay, this can be achieved. So any element in the shock can be lifted to the model whose restriction to the special fiber is true, okay? So at this point, the question is, can we go further? So under what conditions? What conditions is, is a psi, which is just the lift psi tilde restricted to the generic fiber trivial, okay? So the question again is, so suppose you have a tosser on this two dimensional scheme, which is uh, relative curve over spec R, where R is a complete DVR, and G is a reductive group over R. If you have a, a G bundle on X, whose reduction to the special fiber is trivial, under what conditions can you conclude that it is trivial on the generic fiber, okay? So this is the starting point. And in fact, we have answer to this question in under some conditions. This is, uh, this is all, if I don't mention individually, this is work with, Philip Gilles and uh, Suresh. Okay, the rest of the talk is uh, about an answer to this question and this is joint work with Gilles and Suresh. Perhaps I will state the theorem to start with and then go ahead with uh, various aspects of the proof of the theorem. So the first statement is suppose let X to, so we, are, we just do it in a slightly more general say, setting. Essentially, throughout this talk, R is a local Noetherian Henselian ring, and K is the residue field. And you have a X to R. This is a proper flat. Uh, maybe I'll just call the S as spec R, and I'll stick to x to s, unless I make a miss, I confuse between the two. This is a proper flat morphism. So relative dimension, it's a relative curve, but all fibers are related dimension one, relative dimension one. It's a relative curve. And uh, we assume some geometric properties, which the reasons I'll explain later, we assume that one, R is a discrete valuation ring. This is case one. And the condition is simply that X is regular integral. This always can be done. If you're starting with the function field, you can always have a regular integral model. So if it is a discrete valuation ring, this is the first condition. Or, or if it is a general, uh, 
higher dimension, we assume that the smooth points of the special fiber is dense in, in XK. The, special, the smooth points are dense. This is some kind of a technical assumption we assume. Now, suppose let G be a, be a semi-simple group over X over the model. We assume that this is a minor condition that the, the, that the fundamental group of G, mu G, is et al over x. If the, the, the characteristic density field is zero, then all this is no condition. So you take a semi-simple group such that the fundamental group is um, et al. Then any uh, G bundle or G tosser E on x with, so which is trivial on the special fiber. When restricted to the special fiber is Zariski locally trivial. In particular, it is trivial on the generate fiber. Okay, so this is the statement for, uh, uh, in the case G is semi-simple, the conditions on the scheme, which we'll assume throughout the rest of the talk that the pi has these properties that R is, R is always local Noetherian Hanselian. And if it is a DVR, then the model is regular integral. And otherwise the smooth points of the special fiber are dense in XK. Then we have this, uh, this property that any G bundle on X, which is trivial on the special fiber is generically trivial with some assumptions on the with our fundamental group. Okay, so this is about semi-simple groups. And then we have theorem two. Sorry, could, could I ask a question about the statement? Yes, sorry, yes. Sorry. Uh, when you say Zariski locally trivial, did, does that, did you say that implies that it's trivial on the generic fiber? Is that? Yeah, ex exactly. I mean, uh, at every locally at uh, OXX, every point it is trivial. L locally on X, it is trivial, okay? Okay, thanks. Right. All right, so the next theorem is essentially a, a similar strain except for a torus. And in fact, I want to say this proof was communicated to us by Kuliothelin. So, so G is a X to S as before. Here we may not need some the conditions on the special fiber. So X to S is a proper relative dimension one. And T is an X torus. Okay, so, and uh, we assume the following splitting property for T. Suppose there exists a finite ethyl cover, cover G, X prime to X, such that T over X prime over this ethyl cover is uh, is split. Okay, that is it is isomorphic to copies of the GM. Then, then we have the same assumption. If E is a is a T tosser on X with E restricted to the special fiber is trivial. Then E is the risky locally trivial. In particular, it is uh, trivial on the uh, generic fiber, okay? So this part is for the torus, and I don't want to state the next complete result. You can also have G reductive, and then in this case, you need a condition on this uh, fundamental group of the semi-simplification of G. G is et al, and also the central torus condition, you have a condition on splitting of the central torus as in theorem two, then you have a similar statement that a bundle which is trivial on the special fiber is trivial on the Zariski locally or is trivial on the generic fiber. This for any connected reductive groups with these conditions on the group. Paramala, yeah, you say trivial on the generic fiber, you mean trivial at the generic point? 
where, where is it? No, it was, there was a question about whether you were saying that when you restrict to the jerk to the jerk fiber, is it trivial? Is locally trivial? Oh, you, okay. No, no, uh, uh, that is no. locally trivial. Okay, let me. So this is pro probably Akhil's question also. Okay, that in other words, I just say e restricted to uh, each generic point of x is trivial. Okay, or if x is integral, e f is trivial. Okay, so f is uh, the tosser restricted to the function field of x is zero. Okay, so that's what I meant. Okay, fine. Okay, that is e when I say generically trivial, it is trivial when restricted to the uh, function field of x. Okay, but, but, so I don't mean uh, with respect to the curve x, okay, x to k. Okay. It is same as Jerisky locally means, that's what it means. Right? Like, yeah, exactly. For the function field, it is trivial. That's all I mean, okay? Okay, so you have a statement for uh, uh, any reductive group as well. Okay, now, uh, the rest of the lecture is about concerning the uh, the proof of the theorem. First, let me uh, say the, it's easy to sketch a proof of uh, the, the torus case. So we have a torus T on X and we have a finite cover X prime to X degree D such that T over X prime is split. This is the condition. Hey, can I quick ask something? Uh, I mean, I, I guess offhand it would look as though every every torus. Uh, I mean, why is that an assumption? It looks like every torus can be split over any tall. No, no, no. This is an exists. assumption on T. <laughs> but but why is it an assumption? I mean, is okay. that just sort of okay? <laughs> Absolutely, this is a very good question. And um, in some cases, we don't need this assumption. Uh, however, in general, we do not know whether this condition is dispensable. Okay, just proof uses this condition. We don't know whether it is essential and in, in certain cases of our complete DVR and so on, we could just prove that this condition is not needed, okay, for the constant of this case, okay? So this is just because the proof requires, uh, proof is simple when you have this condition. And it's not, I mean, it's necessary for whether this condition is necessary, I do not know. Okay, suppose uh, this is degree D. Now let us look at this, uh, this, uh, it, at our cohomology sequence, H1, Xt. So Tl is the L, suppose the L is a prime not equal to characteristic of the residue field, L is a prime say, and you take the L torsion, then the Kuma sequence gives this exact sequence to H1, Xt multiplication by L, and then it goes down to H2 of X, the L torsion of T, okay? And then you can also write a similar sequence on the special fiber, to H1 XK T to H1 XK T multiplication by L and H2 XK T L torsion. Okay, you have these sequences corresponding to X and the special fiber, and you have these maps to the special fibers. And when you look at this extreme maps beta 1 and beta 2, because the L is co prime to the residue field called characteristic. The proper base change says that uh, proper base change gives that beta one and beta two are isomorphisms. Isomorphisms. So what does it give? If you do a diagram chase, it simply says that uh, if you take the kernel of H one X T to H one X K T, the kernel of the specialization map, this is L divisible. If you just change the diet, and this is a consequence. Okay, so now let me take, let psi be a tosser, H1 XT, which is uh, trivial on the special fiber. Let's begin with this. I want to show that psi, psi is Zariski locally trivial. So this ethyl cover D has uh, degree co prime to P. So you can divide psi by uh, D and you get a tosser psi prime, psi prime in H1 XT. And when you, so you have this uh, G, the finite ethyl cover, when you pull up 
this psi prime to x prime, this is in H1 x prime t, and t is split. It is a product of GMs. This H1 is simply a product of pick, which is Zariski locally trivial. Locally trivial. Which means that you can take G lower star, G upper star of psi prime, which is simply uh, D times psi because it's a finite uh, Pal map, is also Zariski psi prime, is Zariski locally trivial. Locally trivial. That means that psi is Zariski locally trivial. Okay, so this uh, gives a proof in the case when the torus is, um, uh, when the, in the case of a torus. So now we come to the general case, uh, theorem one setting. We'll, we'll always uh, have this, uh, the setting of the theorem that is X to S proper relative curve and S is spec R. R is a Hensilian DVR and K is the residue field. We'll fix this uh, setting. So let me, uh, the, the key word here is some kind of uniformization. This is what um, for the stack of G bundles on X by affine Grassmannians. I will just explain whatever is the context here. Okay, and then uh, followed by certain high log uh, parameterization, extension of high loss parameterization. So let me just uh, have look at an example first. Suppose um, C, C to spec K is a smooth projective curve, smooth projective curve. And uh, K is suppose algebraically closed and G is a split uh, simply connected, for sim let's assume simply connected uh, group over K or C, whatever. Okay, suppose uh, e, e is a principal G bundle uh, or a tosser, let me stick to tosser, tosser under G, tosser under G or C. Okay, now if you take a point, closed point of this curve, CK and uh, and let me take uh, v, v, v prime to be the complement of C minus X. This is affine, so call this spec A prime. So you have this uh, local ring of the curve at the point X and you complete it along X. This is, it's, this looks like K double prime, this is a power series in one variable over K because the residue field is K, K is algebraically closed, the completion is this. And <clears throat> so, and the V prime is, you have this sort of a covering of uh, C by this, uh, this local data and the affine open scheme V prime contained in C. And if E is, uh, E is, I claim that E is trivial over, over spec KT over this uh, local completion. This is uh, basically a complete over a algebraically closed field. The bundle restricted to this is trivial. And the fact is that E is also trivial on the affine open set over V prime, because this is, uh, because A prime is a Dedekind domain. And the field of fractions of A prime is simply the function field of C and K is algebraically closed. This has cohomological dimension less than equal is one, which means that every H1 KCG, this is CS conjecture one, this is zero. Of course, here it, it, it is not perfect, but there is um, this uh, there's, uh, extension of this Steinberg's theorem, um, like Boris Springer. So this is, this is true. So the bundle is trivial on the function or the function field of KC. And then there's a theorem of harder, which says that already E restricted to the spec A prime is also trivial. Okay, already at the level of affine thing, E is trivial. So you have a bundle on C, which over this local data, it gets trivial. 
and on this affine open set it is trivial so it is obtained by patching uh, patching trivial bundles so you have this c and uh, you have this spec kt and you have this um, uh, v prime contained here and when you go to the intersection that is you are removing the point x so it is the laurent series phi okay so the bundle is e is obtained by gluing obtained by gluing trivial bundles on on kt and over a prime by over over the intersection which is spec kt so this is what is happening so it is given by simply trivial bundles gluing is given by a kt point of g okay some point y in k of t so therefore we have this kind of a map from this gluing data to uh, tosses and a g on c and of course the gluing data you can vary over the over the sets uh, the, the kt as well as a prime so you have to mod out by g of kt as well as g of a prime and so you have a map on this double quotient to tosses and a g and this is onto okay so this is the simple description of the tosses under a semi simple simply connected group on a uh, the smooth projective curve or an algebraically closed way this parameterized by this probably this is called the affine grassmannian quotiented by this g of a prime action of g of a prime so we can do more generally so this is exactly what we will just do in a more general context so we'll have this uh, x to uh, x to s as before so suppose d in x is a effective cartier effective cartier divisor and suppose d to s is uh, finite we also assume this is an ample divisor you take an ample effective cartier divisor finite over s and let me define two open sets in x so let v containing d be an affine open set affine open subset of x in x and call it spec a and you have another open set namely the complement of d you should picture it as the point x and the neighborhood of x and the complement of x that's what we discussed earlier for a curve x minus d is again open uh, is affine call it spec a prime and we call this v prime this is open set and v intersection v prime is affine so let me call it spec a star okay and one more definition i need the formal completion a hat suppose i is the ideal of uh, ideal ideal defining d on in, in on v so a hat is the completion of a at the ideal end okay this is a semi local over over s because a mod i is finite over r so you have this these uh, these things set up a a prime and a star and the completion a hat okay so now we define two functors related to this and a group g defined on e. g is a group defined on s over x so we define the functors uh functors from uh so b is an r algebra so the functor l plus g of b is simply g of a tensor b hat we keep in mind that a is uh, a is the coordinate ring of v which contains the point x and lg of b is just the it is like the laurent series field in the example you go to the completion oh the completion is with respect to the ideal i tensor b and now you just go to the open set a star over b okay, this is lg of b 
and uh, so basically uh, this these are the two functors i need okay so let me just uh, denote by so let me have this notation this functor tosses under g on any uh, any scheme uh, any algebra b is just uh, tosses under g on the scheme xb okay so in this setting we have a we have a cartesian square for the patching so you have this tosses under g on the scheme xb you can restrict it to tosses under g of a tensor b hat this is exactly similar to the patching we did for a projective curve or an algebraically closed field tosses under g of um, a prime tensor b so a open set tensor extended to b and then the intersection which is tosses under g of a tensor b hat tensor a star so this is a cartesian square in the sense of a tosser over a prime tensor b and a tosser over a tensor b hat can be glued along this intersection by a gluing isomorphism to construct a tosser over xb okay so let us look at the special class of to tossers c of b okay this is those tossers on xb which are trivial on the two corners okay the set of all e f1 f2 okay where e is over xb it's a tosser and f1 f2 trivializations of e along the two corners a tensor b hat and a prime tensor b okay this collection this is a sub of the tossers under g of the full uh, class of tossers okay so so we, since this is a patching diagram so gluing trivial tossers along a prime tensor b and a tensor b hat along the intersection is equivalent to giving a valued point of g over this ring so we therefore have a map so what is lg of b is precisely g of a tensor b hat tensor a star so we therefore have a map lg of b to it lands in c of b which is contained in tosses under no, tosses under g of b which is just uh, given by this gluing map this is called the uniformization map and of course if when you want to mod out by isomorphism classes then you have this lg of b you have to mod out by the valued points on the corners this is l plus g of b and on the left g of a prime tensor b so you take this this you have a p induces a map p bar to tosses under g of b where the image of p bar consists lands in c of b i mean classes of tosses which is um, sorry maybe i should write here this is the isomorphism classes i can write h1 xb the isomorphism class of tosses it goes down to and the image consists of tosses which are trivial on on their two corners okay local, we call it locally trivial tosses set so we have this uh, uniformization and um, next before stating the one of the main technical uh, theorems so let me just define this the stack bunji the s stack so this is simply on a y y is an s y or s is a scheme then bunji is simply uh, tosses under g of x cross y or s okay so and also associated to this uh, okay the our assumptions the, the assumptions we put on the on x to s 
you remember if it is uh, dimension one, we had regular integral and higher dimension, we had this condition of some density of smooth points. Under our assumptions, the, precisely this, this stack bungee, this S stack is, um, is a smooth algebraic stack. Smooth algebraic stack locally of finite f, whatever. This is a smooth stack and you have a tangents stack of bungee also associated to this. And I need this notation, TB of one G of S, this is the fiber of over the trivial bundle B in one G of S. You take the trivial bundle on X and you take the tangent space at that point, this is this TB. So let me state the, the real technical aspect of the whole uh, work is contained in this theorem, which is sort of, an extension of Heinloth's result, which is, which was done in the context of split groups. Okay, so let um, uh, let uh, the the same notation as in the theorem. Let a D contained in X be an effective Cauchy divisor ample and finite over S and G over X. Let me assume it is semi-simple and mu G is et al. And, um, and E is, um, and the essential uh, condition on the divisor, choice of divisor is, suppose D restricted to the special fiber of D, D, D K. So you remember K is the residue field of R. The D reduced to the special fiber. This splits G is a split group. This is the, the basic assumption on the divisor is that the group restricted to DK is split. Under this assumption, we have, then we have a homorphism F from LG to Bungie, uh, sorry, from the affine space AN of S to LG, the factor LG, such that the composite, the composite from the affine space to LG and go further to Bungie is a morphism of stacks satisfying the following conditions. The point zero maps to the trivial bundle B, trivial bundle B on X, trivial bundle on X. And secondly, <coughs> uh, the the corresponding uh, map on the tangent spaces is essentially subjective. And there, is, there exists a neighborhood N of the point zero K in A and S such that that F restricted to N is from N to, this is the real point that on this neighborhood of zero, this is smooth. So this is the real technical part of the uh, whole thing. So you have this parameterization of the LG by the affine space with these properties that in a neighborhood of zero, when you go up to bungee, it is a, it is a smooth morphism, okay? So this, uh, let us grant this for the moment, then essentially we get, yeah. Sorry, can I just ask a question about the statement? Yeah. Sorry, uh, so what, what does essentially surjective mean in two? So on objects uh, there exists, I mean, the usual categorical sense, right? Oh, sorry, but, but DF is the tangent space. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, okay. All right, and. Uh, Right. So, okay. 
So let us uh, let's go forward. Is it okay? We can come back if you like. Come in the discussion. All right. So uh, so once you grant this, you get immediately as a corollary that uh, with D as above. So you have that uh, there exists. Uh, um, so as and suppose E is a principal G bundle on X. Such that E restricted to XK is trivial. Then E is the uh, E restricted to, in fact, this, this open set, you remember V prime is X minus D. Okay, this is trivial. Okay, so once you have a bundle which is trivial on the special fiber, then it is trivial on the on the open set V prime of X. So this this condition, um, the condition on D, of course, is D is chosen as before, such that G restricted to D K is split. This is the essential condition, the divisor. Then you have this property. So this is immediate from the previous previous uh, theorem, because E X K is uh, the trivial bundle. It is just the trivial bundle on X restricted to the special fiber. And this is in the image of uh, zero K. Okay, because that is our assumption again, that zero maps to B. And this zero K is in the neighborhood N and F from N to Bungie is uh, smooth. There's some kind of a uh, stacky Hensel's lemma enables one to lift this zero K to there exists a U in N such that U K is zero K and F of U is E. So E is a lift of E X K, which is a trivial bundle. So you can lift it about to a point U in N, but this map F from Bungie, this factors through LG, this P and remember the image under P of LG in Bungie consists of uh, bundles which are trivial on V prime and uh, and or the completion A hat. Okay, so this is the property of P that locally trivial bundles. Therefore, E belongs to image of P. Which means that E is E restricted to X minus D. This is the open set V prime is trivial. This is immediate from from having this map factoring through LG, you get that it is trivial on a uh, on a open open Zelsky open set of X. Okay, so the now I mean uh, uh, before coming to Zelsky locally trivial, so I just we want to construct D. See how does one construct the divisor D? This is the key point. Given G on X. So here, let me assume that um, R is a discrete value. Let us let me discuss it in the case when it's a discrete valuation ring. Okay, so you have a, a G G is um, G is uh, okay. We 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 have this following lemma that if X over F is any irreducible variety. And uh, H on X is a, uh, is a reductive group. Then you take the set of all close points of X such that H on this, um, at this uh, uh, res FX, restricted the residue field of X is split. The, all points where the group X is split. Then this is dense in, this is dense in X, the risky dense in X. The set of all points of X where the group is split, this is the risky dense in X. This is a refinement of an argument of Poonen. And I don't have, I think, a time to go over the details. Okay, let us grant this for the moment and then go to the construction of D. So you have this X to S. I'm assuming R is a discrete valuation ring and X is uh, 
integral scheme and it is regular okay on this conditions let us go to the special fiber and uh, suppose the uh, u tilde are the components and irreducible components of x tilde of the special fiber and you take any u in u tilde and you take the irreducible component irreducible component associated to component associated to u okay this is uh, uh, is a proper curve over k and by the lemma there exists there are plenty of points uh, cu close points on on xku on this component for each component such that the group uh, the group h uh, the group g on the function field of cu is split okay so the okay now we lift uh, cu to there exists a du a cartier divisor this is where we use uh, x is a regular integral and uh, r is hensilian dvr so you can lift it to a cartier divisor effective um, such that when you restrict to the special fiber it comes down to cu okay you just pick a point on the special fiber where g is split lift it to an effective cartier divisor and then you take d to be the union of over all the irreducible components of the use then one can check that uh, this d has the required properties okay so this is uh, ample because on the special fiber it is union of the points cu there's one point on at least each component so that is that is ample so this divisor is ample and by construction g restricted to dk is trivial uh, sorry the yeah is split so we have this condition which we needed in the construction of uh, in the proof of the theorem you have constructed a divisor with required properties whose uh, such that g restricted to dk is the special dk this the special fiber of t is trivial okay maybe a remark so now we can complete the local triviality so we have this this choice of d is you can vary the choice of d because there are plenty of uh, points on the special fiber and dense set of points can choose d d prime d d prime cartier two cartier devices on x such that this gives a covering of d they cover the whole of x and uh, hence uh, with with such that of course uh, g d d k is split and g d prime k is split there are plenty of uh, flexibility to choose these devices and therefore you have that e restricted to uh, x minus d is trivial and e restricted to x minus d prime is trivial which means that e is a risky locally trivial trivial on x because of this uh, plenty of choices for these devices it means that there is scale locally trivial okay so i just wanted to say that there is a refinement of this theorem in the case when this x to uh, x to s is a smooth map smooth and s is spec r and r is a, a discrete uh, hensilian discrete valuation ring so in this case we can say something better than something trivial on the special fiber is zariski locally trivial we can say something better so we have this uh, following statement i will not repeat all the conditions on g g is reductive you can assume with conditions on g reductive on x then uh, uh, the same conditions as before e is the principle uh, d torsor on x such that we can have a milder condition that e restricted to the special fiber is uh, zariski locally trivial
the same condition you assume that the restriction to the special fiber is Zariski locally trivial, then already implies that E is Zariski locally trivial. Okay, we don't need the condition that the restriction is trivial, but uh, Zariski locally trivial is enough to conclude that E is Zariski locally trivial. But we need the assumption of smoothness and R being a discrete valuation ring is needed. Okay, this is a much stronger statement. And this leads to immediate to immediately to some corollaries, okay, which are corollary. So X to S as before, and G is um, reductive with some conditions, same conditions. Conditions is like the mu G and the splitting for the central torus, et cetera. Suppose you have these conditions. And suppose uh, K is the residue field K is algebraically closed or, or K is a finite field. Let us have these two uh, cases when the residue field is special, either it is a finite field or an algebraically closed field, then E uh, tosser under G over X is Zariski look. You don't need any, the conditions on the special fiber are automatic here. This is Zariski locally trivial. Okay, under these assumptions that the residue field is special, then we can show that any principal G bundle, when you reduce to the special fiber, first of all, when you go to the, in these cases, when you go to the function field of the special fiber, so you have this, uh, you have a smooth case, it's a smooth curve. You go to the function field. In the case when K is algebraically closed, then this field has cohomological dimension less than or equal to one. Then as we said before, you will have that Zariski locally, every bundle here is trivial because this is dimension one. And if K is a finite field, it is a deeper uh, result due to harder, this is a global field of positive characteristic. So H1 G, G, did I say G is, sorry, I just need this condition that G is semi-simple, semi-simple simply connected. So in this case, uh, H1 uh, K X K, G is uh, trivial. Uh, this is the theorem of harder because this is a global field of positive characteristic. And therefore you can use Nisnevich to conclude that these bundles, whatever bundles we have, are Zariski locally trivial on the special fiber. And therefore we can lift it to this statement that E is Zariski locally trivial on X because we have the required conditions on the special fiber. This is the case of a smooth case. And of course, we are assuming G is very simple, simply connected. Okay, so maybe I'll just state another corollary. Maybe I won't have time to explain, but uh, the way uh, suppose G is um, reductive with some conditions. And uh, X to S smooth. Then, and uh, X is integral and F is the function field of X. Then Sha omega FG is zero. So one of the conditions we started with, in this case, we do not have to go through patching. You immediately get that the uh, uh, Sha of F of F with respect to Sha FG is zero. Locally trivial tosses are trivial. So the, the proof goes like this. You take something in Sha omega FG, you can lift it because some purity results, you can lift it to a tosser on the model X and you restrict it to the special fiber and you go to the generic points of the special fiber. There the tosser vanishes because your original tosser on the function field is over all completions trivial. Okay, you can take a completion with respect to a co-dimension one point of X corresponding to a component of the special fiber or that completion vanishing means that the, the specialization uh, to the residue field is zero, which is simply 
the function the function field of the generic point. So you get the required conditions on the specialization because you are assuming it is in the in the SHA set. Therefore, this uh, this is a consequence for the of a result for the smooth case. So uh, that's uh, thank you very much. That's all that I want to say. Um, oh, thank you very much for the, the very nice talk. Um, let's let's thank Parmala. Um, sorry, maybe before we take questions, let me just make a quick announcement, which is that the seminar for the rest of the, the, the seminar schedule for the rest of the term is going to be a little bit different in that um, we'll, we'll meet again next week so instead of in two weeks. Um, and, and, okay, yeah, so, um, so any, any questions? So I have a question. What is this virtual T you have? Uh, well, I, I think we, we just, uh, I mean, people, if they want to, can can stick around for a few minutes oh, after, okay. maybe 15 okay. minutes after the talk. Um, I, I, I had one question, which is, uh, I, I believe that you're assuming that the groups spread out uh, their they're kind of constant, not only in the sense that they come from uh, K, but that they come from R. Uh, essentially, yeah, except for the, um, in this discussion, we are assuming that the group is defined on X, not necessarily from R, okay? At, at the end, but right, but earlier. For all the, for all the theorems, we just uh, need K to be defined on X. On curly X. On, on curly X, exactly, exactly. I mean, it's clear that it's necessary for the methods, but is there something to say when it's when it's defined over the uh, over function uh, Roman X uh, uh, on the curve X? Yeah, there are examples uh, where all these local global principles fail ah. if it is not a constant group. Okay, so there are examples constructed where uh, you have non-trivial SHA elements in this case. Okay. So that is why we, uh, in our original uh, work with uh, this Kolyakilin, Harbeta, Hart, all this joint paper, we started looking at the constant groups, thinking that something better could happen. In fact, something better happens under some good situations, but even here uh, under some, um, under, there are counter examples to Hasse principle, even in this kind of a situation. Right. They all come from bundles. Well, I'm talking over the function field of X, but they all come from bundles which uh, do not get to trivial on the special fiber or generically trivial, okay? Then mm -hmm. you have non-trivial phenomenon above, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. So if, if I can ask another question, um, I was just wondering, so how, uh, could you say something about how this map from the affine space uh, yeah. is produced? Yeah, actually, you know, I'm not a big expert on this, but uh, it is basically uh, through, you have this G group G on X, okay? And uh, uh, on DK, it is split, okay? So if you look at that A hat, the completion of A along this ideal of D, okay? Or the completion, the group is split, okay? So you can choose certain good parabolic subgroups there or a hat, all right? And uh, take a unipotent radical and uh, certain last, uh, the last part of the demo filtration, you have some GA parts coming in. Those are the ones which contribute to this map from ANS to LG, yeah. So I'm a little vague, but uh, basically it is because GDK split is Critical. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Um, and any further any further questions?
Um, if not, let's let's thank uh, Carmela again. Thank you again.